Today I'm going to share with you three shots around the green that are fun and actually might save you a few strokes next time you head to the links. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And if you followed any of our stuff here, you know <laughs> that uh, Nick and I, we, we love to talk about chipping and pitching and potting and all the things around the green. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you three different shots with three different clubs that you can practice to add some variety to your sessions but also save you some save you a few shots and I can promise you this the last one is going to be a lot of fun so the first one that we're going to talk about is actually just using your putter believe it or not you've heard the old saying that your worst putt is always better than your worst chip so anytime you're around the green like I've got this ball right here and the lie is actually pretty good the fringe is mowed down nice we're here at Keene Park in Sioux Falls beautiful spot if you love to play golf and you're traveling through the area you should check this spot out but it's on the fringe here, so it's easy to putt and easy to go with, all right? So the first thing to be thinking about is, is just, can I use my putter? All right, and the answer in this particular shot is yes. So when you're using your putter off the fringe, a couple things you gotta be aware of. Number one is I want you to take the putter and I want you to move your hands back just slightly. You know in our standard coaching, when we use in the vertical line swing and in the book, the bad lie, you know I'm an advocate, I like a tiny bit of forward shaft lead. But when you're putting off the fringe, you actually want a little bit more loft to get the ball up and kind of hopping over it. So let me go ahead and I'm just gonna hit a shot right here down the line. So I've taken my normal setup position and I'm just moving my hands back just a little bit to give me a little bit more loft in the putter to get it kind of up in the air and hopping. Okay, that kind of hopped up, maybe a little hot, not bad though. Probably about six feet rolled out a little bit more than I thought, but that's the first tip I wanna give you is when you're practicing around the greens, your short game, Hit some putts off the fringe and you'd be surprised at how those shots get a little bit easier. All right, now the next one, hybrid. Think of using your hybrid every once in a while around the green. So I've got my Maxford hybrid here, the new 22 degree. This thing is hot. We've been selling them like crazy, all right? So with your hybrid, because it's got 22 degrees of loft and because of the way it's designed on the sole here, we call it our ground hugging sole in this particular one, but it actually kind of glides through the grass and can make shots actually a little bit easier around there. So if I just get set up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and I like to grip it almost like my putter and just make some motions back and through, all right? Like I'm making a putting motion, but because the hybrid's got 22 degrees of loft on it and it glides through the longer grass, it'll hop a little bit and then hopefully roll out like a putt. And as a side benefit, I didn't really plan on talking about this today, but we've got the fairway finder line on here. So it's actually just like my putter. I've got a line on there so I can literally feel like I'm moving that line straight back and straight through like a putt. So here we go. I'm going to position the ball very similar to like I would in a putt. I got my putting set up, choking down a little bit. You can see from down the line here, the shaft is relatively vertical and I'm just going to make a putting motion. Okay, and you could see that. You see how it kind of hopped up in the air and literally just carried. Now it came up a little bit short because I, you know, it's something I got to practice a little bit. But that would be the second tip that I would give you is that when you're practicing around the green, think about a putter, but don't be afraid to do a little practice with your hybrid because you might find that it's actually easier than hitting a wedge. Now, if you haven't done this already, hey, subscribe to the channel and you know my favorite question. We love hearing where you're from and what do you like, you know, what do you want to hear us talk about? It's a big part of what we do here helping you play better golf. But no practice session around the green would not be complete if I didn't do something really fun. So I'm gonna have Nick grab the camera. I'm gonna make him do some extra work here today. Th probably a thumbs down on that one. Uh, okay, thumbs up, he's in a good mood today. So we're gonna have him grab the camera. We're gonna go hit the super flop, a shot that everybody would love to hit. Let's go take a look at it. Super flop, hey. It is one of the most enjoyable shots in golf and it's something we want to learn because we want to have some fun, right? So let me show you how you can do this. First of all, I've got my most lofted club, 58 degrees. Now the objective here is I got to have some speed and I need loft. So I got a 58, I need speed, I need to make sure at impact that that club is tracking a little bit underneath the golf ball. So the first thing I want you to notice that I'm doing here, see I'm gripping it in my trail hand and I'm just letting that club swing a little bit. This is one of the drills that I put in my book, The Bad Lie, where we hit shots with the trail hand only, because we use it for a variety of things, right? And I'm just getting a feel of the club just bouncing through the turf, you can kind of see that. That'd be tip number one. Now, the next thing I'll do, and I used to do this a drill, uh, drill a lot with my high school and, and college players, we'd call it the shoulder to shoulder drill. 
okay? So what I would do is I'd just say, all right, hey, let's swing this club back, and I want the club shaft to bump. See how it hits the shoulder? Hits the shoulder. Everybody see that? So it's shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder, 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 right? Did you notice that? That was a three-setter, right? You know we love our three-setters here at US Golf TV. So that gives me the feel, and it releases tension. When you hit a flop shot, you gotta be relaxed. You don't want any type of tension. So here we go. I'm gonna take the club face. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit open. I've got the ball slightly forward of center. My toes are out, and I'm kind of bent low. And I've got my feel shoulder to shoulder. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Here we go. Face open. Knees kind of bent, almost like I'm in a bunker. Okay, that actually came out really high and really soft. It's probably the best out of the three that I hit. So practicing shots around the green doesn't need to be boring. You don't have to hit the same shot over and over. Grab your putter, grab your hybrid, grab your 58, and experiment a little bit around the green, and you'll make golf more fun. And as a result, you're going to see lower scores.